for time. We just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by. We really appreciate what you're doing. We we love it that you're out driving these cars, and and we have the pleasure of taking a look at those build-off cars. They're absolutely phenomenal. Just a, a great and a high level of. Uh, artistic and, and creative endeavors. We really appreciate what you do for the hobby. We're really passionate about cars and about what the stuff that you guys do. So uh, we wish you the best of luck throughout the rest of the tour. Uh, we appreciate you. They'll be handing out some of our uh, Coker Tire catalogs here in a minute. So uh, you'll be able to take a look at some of the stuff that we provide as well. Hope you had a great uh, tour of the museum. What'd you think of that? Awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just keep that going, ladies and gentlemen, Corky Coker. Wow. So, so how many miles you guys have already done so far? 1,200 or so? Some, I heard somebody say. You, your tour is going for a pretty good ways? Mm -hmm. You got days. South African somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I, met, I met those Afrikaners. <laughs> um, like Wade said, you know, I, I, when Rat Rods first came onto the scene. I was chairman of the board of SEMA, and so many of the guys says, "Oh well, uh, you know, uh, those are dangerous, and they're, you know, they're they look bad, and we're ruining bodies and all that sort of stuff." And I said, "Chill out, wait a minute, stop." Number one, first they're buying tires. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, they're doing a lot of stuff with bodies that everybody walked past. Number three. They are making them safe. Yeah. And you know, that's encouragement that we as a group all need to do with our, they have to be safe. Please make them safe. Because when something happens bad, it reflects all rat rods. Yep. So yeah. right. please make them safe. And then thirdly, the passion and the artistic ability yeah. is just amazing. So um, right on, keep doing it. Keep, you know, start again, do something else, pass it on. The other thing that I said is, you know, when somebody gets started and starts building something pretty unique, who knows, they look at a Chip Foose and say, hey, I can do that, I can knock you off the top. Or Roy Brizio, because you learn as you go, don't you? You learn as you go about metalwork, about welding, about mechanics, about the dynamics of, um, a front end, the physics of a front end and the way a car handles and how the caster and camber and all that stuff is really fun. So um, I I give you praise. Congratulations for that. Thank, right. Thank you. I saw some fake walk walls out there. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I, see, I see bandag retreads. I don't want to hear about it. I got you know, fire stones on the back. Atta baby. <laughs> but I am impressed with everything that I see. And I, um, um, I've got a little uh, 36 Ford pickup. It's out in our um, facility in Los Angeles where we make wheels. We produce uh, wheels in City of Industry. If you ever get out there, please stop by. We'd like to show you around. Um, we actually can produce as many as a thousand wheels a day there. Um, got about a 5,000 square foot powder coat line. Um, I don't think y'all really want anything powder coat. <laughs> you know, rust is cool. So, congratulations. Thanks for coming. Um, thanks for getting out there and driving your vehicles. That's, you're my newest best friends. <laughs> your vehicles. Thanks for having us. When I saw at Steel Fest the other day, all the burnouts, you're going to sell a lot. Out of there. Burn them out.